So here we have a top 0.02% only fans creators account. And as you can see in the last 30 days, she has made $216,341.62, okay? So obviously a huge amount of money with the biggest day being an $11,000 day. And if we head over to the time tab here, we can see the last 90 days, she's also made over half a million dollars. Super, super consistent. So I thought I'd make this quick video and just kind of talk you guys through a couple of tips uh, and a couple of kind of user specific case studies specifically on this account of how you can be maximizing the amount of money that you're making with your OnlyFans creators and obviously hopefully get them to this point one day. Now, the first point I want to talk about, and this is something that I always discuss, it's kind of one of the really key, key areas of managing OnlyFans creators is going to be what we call the golden chatting ratio, okay? And that is going to be the ratio of subscription revenue to message revenue. So just to show you a little bit about what I mean by that, let's scroll to last 30 days, make it a little bit easier to look at. See on subscriptions, our creator has made $30,000 from subscriptions on messages, $177,000, okay? So a ratio of around one to six. So for every $1 that comes through from subscriptions, should be making around $6 plus um, in the messages, okay? Now, how is this actually achieved and how can you achieve this consistently? Now, kind of the first point to really take in, you know, when you're looking at an account of this, at this level, is that a lot of your income is probably going to come from a slightly smaller selection of subscribers. Now, what do I mean by that? This is what we refer to as whales. Now, by whales, that essentially just means people on this OnlyFans account that are spending a significant amount of money with this model. And it's very, very important that you categorize these uh, these fans and that you really push them to make the most amount of money possible. So let's take a little, little look at the categorization. So as you can see, we've headed over to the chat section. All of the whales are tagged with, lo and behold, the whale emoji. And if we click into just one of these random fans and we can see how much they've spent to be categorized as a whale. Okay, wonderful. Literally shows it right there move my face out of the way in the corner. In the last 28 days, this fan has spent $6,900, so $7,000 in under a month, okay? So this is what I mean when I say that a small portion of fans will make up the vast majority of your income. And by categorizing them like that, and actually adding these tags, you're gonna be able to see exactly what these guys are wanting far, far easier. Obviously push more of that content towards them and get them to spend a lot more. You should always get your chatters to prioritize chatting with these fans as well. Okay, very, very important. So first little tip, make sure that you're categorizing your whale subscribers and really, really nurturing them as that is where most of the money on this account is going to come from. Obviously when a new fan comes on board, starts spending quite heavily, that's when you can kind of assess whether you're gonna categorize them as a whale because you know maybe you see the potential for them to spend an obscene amount of money in the future as well. So the next super important thing to remember is that you need to have 24 hours a day chatting, okay? So every minute of the day, if a subscriber subscribes or if a current subscriber messages, you need to have somebody there to answer that messages within one to two minutes. With all of our chatters, the messages must be answered within one to two minutes of them being sent. That's extremely, extremely important because think about it this way. If a fan is ready to buy some content and doesn't receive a reply for five to 10 minutes, maybe they're going to subscribe to someone else, maybe they go and get that fulfillment somewhere else as well. So it's very, very important that you have 24 hour a day chatters on all of your creators accounts. So the next thing to talk about is going to be vault organization, okay? This is super, super crucial for making sure that your chatters are being as efficient and making as much money as possible. As you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, and then the corresponding content there. And this is essentially a script. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about scripts in a moment, but this kind of comes under Vault organization as well. You need to have it incredibly, incredibly obvious to your chatters which video should be sent after which video and how it all interlinks together. Now, this is not only because, you know, keeps everything nice and organized. It's also because if you have to onboard a new chatter or maybe bring on a new employee, it's gonna be way, way easier to train them up than if everything's just an absolute mishmash. Because if you have a chatter leave and they've just kind of been organizing it as they see fit, that's not gonna get passed on to the next employee. Now, another way that we're able to make this kind of crazy money from the messages is by using incentive-based pricing, okay? And this is what is essentially referred to as a script. And this is where the first message is gonna be the least explicit and it's gonna be anywhere from 20 to 30. Next message is gonna get progressively more explicit, 30 to 40. 
50 to 60, 70 to 80, and then for the final couple of messages, over $100. And the reason for that is the fans don't actually, they can't actually kind of tell how much they're spending because obviously it's just done increment in increments, okay? So obviously it's far, far easier to take a large portion of money from a subscriber in little chunks rather than just one big chunk at a time, okay? So that's really, really crucial as well. Make sure that you are using scripts. If you are in the Aura community or if you have access to our program, we have all the scripts laid out for you. It's as simple as just sending it to your models and then getting them to record the content. So if you're interested in that, drop me a message on Instagram. It's at Harry Paul Davis. Now, the next thing to talk about is going to be keeping chargebacks extremely, extremely low. Now, not only is this important so that the OnlyFans account doesn't get restricted, this is also very, very important as it can kind of give you a bit of a gauge of subscriber satisfaction levels. Okay, so in the last 30 days, even though this creator has made 200, over $200,000, there's only been 308 chargebacks, okay? So obviously absolutely incredible numbers. Now this comes from having the 24 hour chatters, okay? Very, very important as well, because if somebody pays for a piece of content and it's not immediately sent out, that's when you start risking chargebacks. And as you can see in the in the corner here, 0.26%, that's absolutely fine. And OnlyFans as a platform needs you to keep it under 1%. If you start getting chargebacks above that, you can often find that your account gets limited. Obviously you're losing money as well. So it's really, really important that you're always sending out content promptly, especially if the fan is paying for custom content or anything like that okay so last 30 days hardly any chargebacks that's a really really good and very very positive thing for this account now something else that's really important is creating engaging posts because obviously the more engagement a post gets the more the subscribers are going to interact and obviously the more money your chatters can make for yourself so the types of posts that works really really well is anything that asks a sort of question that's linked into the picture obviously you know in fitting with uh, your model's niche this model specifically is from a cosplay niche so the question Questions kind of often center around you know different characters from various shows who's your favorite character from this etc etc and that's been doing really really well to drive a lot of engagement to this account obviously it goes without saying that with a model of this size you need to be driving a ton of subscribers so in terms of the type of promotion that we've been doing with this creator obviously the vast majority has come from uh, Instagram reels okay now her organic uh, Instagram account has a really decent amount of followers and she's absolutely incredible at producing really engaging high, high, high performing Instagram reels, which pulls a lot of subscribers through. On the flip side, in terms of paid promotion, we've been running up Twitter accounts. We've got a really, really great Twitter method at the moment. Obviously, we've shared that with everyone in our community as well. Everyone's bringing in a ton of subscribers through there. The main reason that Twitter works so well is because obviously a lot of the other platforms really don't want you kind of advertising on there, you know, be it Instagram, especially TikTok. It's very, very easy to get banned as a creator on there. But with Twitter, because they obviously have very, very different laws and very, very different um, ideas about what's acceptable and what's not, explicit content is absolutely fine. So I'd rather put money into marketing on a on a site where there's no real risk of getting banned there's no risk of getting kicked off and a site that actually wants you on there that's what a lot of people forget a lot of people are trying to you know find ways around tiktok etc etc which obviously if it works that's really really great but the time it's going to take you to do that when there are just far better options is definitely outweighed okay so a lot of these subscribers have been coming from twitter that's what's been working best um, best for us at the moment so a little bit of a nugget in there for you guys who might be starting to promote your models soon so in the last 30 days if you're wondering how many visitors the actual OnlyFans page got over 600,000. So that just gives you a little bit of an idea of how much traffic you actually need to push to generate these kind of results and this kind of money. Now, something that's really, really important to note is that I often find when uh, when I'm doing coaching, a lot of guys uh, are getting their models, lots of views, but not very many uh, subscribers and not very many conversions off the back of that. And that is usually because their OF landing page is very, very poor. You need to have a really great bio. You need to have some really, really nice, appealing, aesthetically pleasing profile pictures and banners as well and within the aura course we go over exactly how you should do this because there is a very specific method now if you're having a lot of visitors to the link not many subscribers it's definitely because there's something wrong with that page okay usually it's a it's a fairly a fairly trackable ratio okay in terms of profile visitors to subscription earnings it all works out but if you have a poor landing page obviously it's not going to now, in terms of countries, there's a question that I always get as well is, you know, where should you be focusing um, your model's promotion towards? Really, obviously, the United States would be number one. But other than that, any first world country. So for this creator at the top, we've got the United States, then Germany, then Canada, and then others there as well. So you can see the United Kingdom, uh, Australia, France, Italy. So all first world countries, obviously, Mexico, a little bit of an outlier there. Um, but countries that are wealthy, that's the, the, the answer to that question. A question that I often get, where should I promote a model? 
any country where people have a lot of money to spend, okay? Vastly, it's gonna be it's gonna be the United States usually. Just as a very quick side note as well, again, this is some quite basic stuff. If you're brand new to OFM, you probably don't know this. In terms of the actual subscription offer, what it's best to do is a reasonably high price and then obviously have like a nice hefty discount. So for this creator, it's 65% off for 31 days. And the reason for this is because obviously it's just perceived value. Just like if you go into a supermarket and you see that an item is reduced, you're gonna be more likely to buy it because you feel like you're getting a better deal. So $9.99, 65% off for the first 31 days. Obviously that's got 62,000 claims that offer there as well. You can also add tracking links and bits and pieces like that. So, you know, if you want to see exactly where the subscribers are coming from, from which platform, you can do that as well. Obviously very, very important for actually knowing which element of promotion is working the best. Another point is the welcome message. So this is going to be the message that a fan gets as soon as they subscribe. It's not a good idea to just send out a really long free video. It's not how you want to do this. You want to be basically sparking a conversation as soon as possible. So for this creator, hey, thank you for subscribing to my page. Can't wait to get to know you. What's your name and where you're from? Boom, instantly you're building that relationship with the subscriber. You're really, really pushing for a reply and a response that can then go into a conversation, okay? A lot of people make the mistake of just trying to sell straight away. No, you need to be building up that subscriber relationship from the word go. So hopefully that shows you what a top level OnlyFans creators account looks like and gives you a little bit more insight into kind of the types of things you need to be aiming for in order to actually push your model up to this level. Now there's a lot of these OnlyFans YouTubers that can't even pull up an account like this oftentimes because they just sell you a course and they don't actually manage any models, but it is what it is. Those people have been around for a very long time, but I just thought it'd be important to kind of jump on here, show you a little bit about how we've been doing things and how you can replicate it as well. As always, if you are a creator wanting to make these sort of numbers, please drop me a message on Instagram at Harry Paul Davis. Or if you're somebody that's looking to start your own agency, start a business of managing these only create, OnlyFans creators exactly how we do, also drop me a message on there. If you take a look at my channel, you'll find a ton more videos on OnlyFans management, a few blogs, day in the lifestyle things as well. Uh, and if you follow my business partner at Marcus Hustle, um, he's got even more videos on all of these topics that you can watch for free as well and obviously get started. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.